Hello, hello. Hey, what's up, Mighty Iron Elf? I feel like I remember you from one of the previous streams. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, you were here last month. Okay, yeah, I remember you. Um, the last two streams, we actually started kind of a new series, and it's been pretty fun, and I might um, I might do that again today. There's not a lot of people online today, though, so I don't think there's going to be a ton of um, people on the stream. But um, we basically, I don't code anything. I have ChatGPT completely build something out for me, and if it messes up, I have to just keep pinging it. I can't touch the code. <laughs> And we already built um, a few apps. We built to do app, a workout planner, a weather app slash weather dashboard. So I don't want to do those again. So we'll see if it can come up with some ideas and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we want to build. Might be a quick stream today though. This habit tracker looks pretty cool. Quiz app looks fun. <clears throat> Develop a quiz app with multiple categories and difficulty levels. Users can answer questions, see their scores, and view explanations to the correct answers. Yeah, you know what? I think we might do a quiz app. Might do a quiz app today. The quiz app sounds fun. Let's build that. Let's build it in React and just regular CSS. Features I want to include, let's see. I wanna provide it with some features this time um, because it, it, it tends to just out of the box build a pretty basic app that takes like two seconds to just copy and paste the code and it works. So I think we'll, we'll have to see Buzzfeed? <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Let's see, features we want to include. Users can answer questions. 
when the page loads, I would like for the user to have between three categories of questions to choose from. Each category can contain three to five questions, all multiple choice, and Let's see, I want the user to see in real time after they make a selection, if they got it wrong or right, and if they got it wrong, show what the right answer is before proceeding to the next question. Lastly, hmm. Lastly, at the end, show a summary of how they did. All right, let's see what it does. I'm not gonna code anything other than just setting up the, uh, the project. All right, so the game plan is we're gonna set up a React project, structure the components, manage the state, add some CSS, question categories, question logic, feedback me mechanism, and a summary. By the way, I'm sorry if my answers for or questions take a minute to upload or answer if I say or miss something because the internet isn't that great. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. It's a pretty relaxed, pretty chill uh, live stream. And you're the only one here today, it looks like so. <laughs> this will probably be a pretty quick, uh, pretty quick live stream. Okay, so we're using some use state. We have a few, actually, you know what? Let's get, get started with the uh, uh, setting up our uh, React app. So uh, let's go React template and we'll call this quiz app. Actually, let's do live stream quiz app. That way I can upload this to GitHub when we're finished. All right, let's open this up. Pop this over there. Let's go back to chat GBT. So they want us to set up the app, which we already did. And this is going to be our app.jsx. So let's just copy this over. Let's go inside of app and just delete all of this and paste this in. And it's looking at styles.css. So let's just change this to that. We'll do styles.css. Do you have any live sessions like this on YouTube? Yes. So everything that we, um, every single uh, time we stream, we upload the um, the replays to YouTube. Uh, I'll put in the chat. That's our uh, YouTube channel if you want to go check it out. So when you go to our YouTube, um, just go down to this playlist here, the Treehouse Show live streams, and you'll see all of our past live streams. We have a ton. We've been streaming for a few months now. All right, so where are we? All right, so we did our app.jsx. It looks like we have a category selection uh, component. So let's create that like category selection.jsx. We're going to paste in all that code. So it looks like we're going to have general knowledge, science, and math as our uh, category. So that's going to be pretty cool. Let's also save our app.js file. All right. So now we have question logic. So this is going to be another component uh, quiz.js. So let's create that quiz.jsx, paste that on in. Looks like we get, um, so each of these are those categories, science, general knowledge, and math. And we have, um, we have one question for each, which that's not what I wanted. So we'll see if it could generate some more for us, but we'll do that later. Let's see 
I guess right off the bat how well this works or doesn't work. And then we'll go over the code. Okay, so we also have a component for the question itself. So say question.js, oops, question.jsx. We'll paste all that in. Let's save. And feedback mechanism. So we have another component called summary. So let's do that. Summary.jsx. And this looks like a pretty small component. We'll paste that in. And here's all of our CSS, which really isn't much, but we're gonna we're gonna make it look nice towards the end. So let's go into our styles. Uh, let's keep all the Tailwind stuff, even though we're not really gonna use it. So, but that's fine. All right, so let's just see what the browser looks like because uh, I'm curious. All right, so I don't see anything. <laughs> So I wonder if we have any errors off the bat. So if we go to the console. Oh, it's saying index.css is uh, not defined. That's because we called it styles. We changed it. So where is, that should be in main, right? So let's change this to styles. All right. All right, so it's, it looks like it's pretty basic right off the bat. Um, but it says select category, so let's do general knowledge. What is the capital of France? Let's do Paris. All right, so I guess the green makes me think that this was right. And we have a button for next. Your quiz is completed. Your score is one. Restart. Okay, let's do general knowledge. Let's change it to Berlin. Okay. So this kind of works. It lets me know that the right answer is Paris. Um, and go next cool so let's add a little bit more questions and then we're gonna restyle the we're gonna restyle this quite a bit <laughs> uh looks like everything works and we might even add some more features just keep pinging chat gpt to add more features but it is very unstyled can you give me a modern look and feel let's see what it does well it's definitely adding a lot more css than it originally had <laughs> quite a bit more All right, so it's also importing a Google font, so we'll have to do that. We could do that really quick. So inside that HTML file, I think it's said in the head, right? Just link this up. Let's add all this new CSS. Save that. And then what is this? Oh, okay, so now we're changing a little bit of the components too. So let's go in um, and rechange the category section repaste all this the question component and that's I think that's it <laughs> you could add sound for right or wrong yeah we could try that might work okay this looks a little bit better but it's still weird looking I feel like I could style this way better on my own all right uh, Berlin Paris next was yeah it's it's okay can you add a minimum of five questions per category and make the different views the full size of the web page so that it feels more immersive let's see if that helps i probably misspelled some of that <laughs> Once we get this kind of looking pretty decent, let's um, let's see if we can add those sounds. AI or anything always makes things look pretty weird and jumbled. I totally agree. I've really, I don't think I've ever found AI to really make something look good out of the box. At least not better than what I think I could probably come up with. Wow, these are definitely some good uh, questions here. Lots of questions. 
All right, so inside of quiz, it's only updating the quiz data object. So let's just update that. Uh, let's not update the entire component. Where's quiz data? Right here. All right, so let's remove that and paste this instead. So I think right out of the box, that should just make it more questions. Next, next, next. Definitely got a lot more questions here. All right, so my score is one, quiz completed. What does my score mean? Is that, did I only get one right? All right, I got two right this time. Okay, so yeah, the score is based off of how many you get right. Okay. So now let's apply some of that new CSS to make it look a little bit better. All right, let's go back to the CSS. Let's paste that in. Uh, and we are updating couple of components here the category section which really it doesn't look like we're really updating much with it we're also updating the quiz component I'm assuming where is our quiz data though in here I don't want to delete that What system are you using to apply the code to? What do you mean, like this app here? Like the uh, this app that I'm actually typing the code in? Oh, this is uh, VS Code. Ensure each view component utilizes the full height and width of uh height and width to create an immersive experience huh i'm wondering why all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and just copy this but i'm not gonna delete our data because i don't think it's including that in here so i'm just gonna start from right here and paste hopefully that doesn't break anything but we'll see and then summary, it might not even be updating this. It might just be showing me these things again. Yeah, I'm not really noticing much of a difference in the code. Um, but okay, so let's see if this did anything. <laughs> it still looks so weird. Like I wanted it to be the whole page, you know? All it did was just make it tall, like full height. All right, so let's go, uh, let's go science. What planet is known as the red planet? That's Mars. What gas do planets absorb from the atmosphere? Nitrogen. No, nope. carbon dioxide. What is the hardest natural substance on Earth? Probably diamond, right? Yeah. What is the main gas found in the air that we breathe? Mm, oxygen. No, nope. nitrogen. What is the chemical symbol for water? H2O. Quiz completed. I got three right. Not bad. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can add some sounds. Can we add a sound for when we get a question correct and a sound when we get a question wrong? You may or may not be able to hear the sounds through the stream, but I'll let you know if they if they actually happen. <laughs> So we'll have to add some audio files. I'm not sure where I can get those. And we're gonna have to modify the question.jsx file or component, I should say. And we're gonna update the file structure here. So, Really, everything's staying the same, but we're going to be adding our correct sound and our incorrect sound um, in the public folder. But I feel like it's going to be something weird. We'll see. <laughs> um, and I've also hit my limit, so no more uh, chat GPT. -ing. <laughs> this might be this might be it for the uh, stream, to be honest. Today, we've actually pinged this more than we normally do, 
for the stream but this one took like no time to build so it's just kind of kind of dumb and this doesn't look like it's set up correctly i don't know we'll see let's copy this let's go paste this in our question.js file all right all right so far that works let's see if i can go download um download correct and wrong mp3 sound files free free and wrong sound effects download that sounded pretty cool can i just download that for free oh that's so cool all right um correct okay cool that's easy All right, let's um, let's copy both of these. Let's go to our desktop. Let's go to live streams, uh, public, and we're gonna paste them in here. And I'm just gonna call this correct. And I'm gonna call this wrong. All right, so let's make sure we're using this correctly. All right, so we already updated this. Correct sound ref is equal to null. All Where are we actually using? Well, I did say I wasn't gonna touch the code, so let's just see if this works right out of the box. But it probably, I don't think it will. Let's see. Oh, it works. Okay, so the the right one worked. Okay, so this is called incorrect.mp3, that's why. Okay, so let's go and change that to incorrect. I don't know if you're able to hear that on your end or not. It, it sounds pretty cool. All right, let's try it again. So general knowledge, this is the capital of France. Cool, that works. Uh, who wrote To Kill a Mockingbird? Let's go Mark Twain. Cool. The sounds are kind of this are kind of similar. Let me find like a better incorrect one. Maybe like a buzzer. Oh, this one sounds good. Let's do this one. Okay, so that's this one right here. So let's go back to desktop live stream. Yeah, I, so what I'll end up doing is I'll just upload this to GitHub. So if you want to pull it down, check it out. Or maybe I can host it and you can actually go give this a try yourself if you'd like. All right, so let's go in here. Let's remove this incorrect. Paste this one and just change the name to incorrect. And now our app should work. Oh, that's cool. Oh, these sounds are awesome. That was a good idea. I really like that idea, adding some sounds in here. So I want to go see how this knows to grab the right file because I don't see us importing the file anywhere. So, MP3, okay, so here it is. So, we're creating a ref for it and we're giving it the source, which makes sense, but this ref doesn't make sense. Maybe dot .play is uh, some sort of uh, method on um, refs, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's ask ChatGPT, <laughs> or Copilot, I should say. Let's say explain this. The active selection incorrect sound ref dot current dot play is a line of JavaScript code typically found in a React component. This line is responsible for playing an audio file when a certain condition is met, such as when an incorrect answer is selected in the quiz application. In this context, incorrect sound ref is likely a reference created using the use ref hook from React. The use ref hook is used to persist values between renders without causing a re-render when the value changes it is often used to directly interact with the dom elements with dom elements or to store mutatable mutable sorry values the current property of use ref object holds the actual reference to the dom element or the value in this case incorrect sound current it's expected 
to be an HTML audio element or a similar object that has a play method. The play method is a built-in. Okay, so it is built-in. It's a built-in function of the HTML audio element. So, okay, so that's what this is. This is an audio element right here. So this ref is holding a reference to it. This is the source for when it needs it. And then we just call the play method on it. Okay, that's cool. This is HTML and CSS, right? No, this is React. Um, React is, it can look like HTML, but this is actually considered JSX because you're running some JavaScript logic in here. But this is uh, React, which is a JavaScript framework. It's a little bit more advanced. You'll want to learn your HTML and CSS first and then JavaScript. And then once you understand JavaScript, writing React is so simple. It's very, very simple. And we teach all of this over on the site if you want to learn HTML, CSS, or even React. Basically, the browser can only understand HTML, so all of this compiles to just HTML once it hits the browser. That's why the browser can still uh, show all of this. Wow, this is pretty neat. I am gonna... I think I'm going to try to restyle this a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit since the stream did not take very long. <laughs> Have you been doing Python and bits of HTML and JavaScript? That's awesome. I I, uh, I know a little bit of Python. Um, I had to stop though because at the time I was working for a different company and we were using JavaScript pretty heavy and it was really confusing me because um, I was learning Python. Some of the things are similar, some of them are different. And um, yeah, I had to stop learning Python for a little bit because it was making um, my day to day job kind of hard at the time, but I need to pick it back up. I think it'd be fun. Let's change this color. Also, we're going to make it dark. Let's make a dark mode. What did I just change? Oh, I changed, uh, no, wait, what did it, what did I just change? All right, so the body, we're going to make this dark. There we go. And we are going to say our app is going to be just transparent. There we go. Our H2, we're going to do EEE, -E -E, make it a light gray. That works. These sounds are really cool. <laughs> Let's see if I can host this real quick. If you want to give this uh, app a try. Oh, no, I'd have to host it and all that first. I'm just kind of take a little bit. So I'll, I'll probably host this later on and just update the link. What is the smallest country in the world? Vatican City. Cool. I did not know that. Some of the text here is a little dark. Option button. No, we'll leave. Option button. Oh, okay. That's the answers. That's fine. We can keep that. It's green, we're gonna change the color, make it a prettier green. And we're gonna change the red to make it a prettier red. Not so harsh. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look as weird with just a little bit of uh, changes in style, style color. So our feedback, we're gonna also, actually let's create the same exact color here. Keep it consistent. Cool. Um, our next button, let's say width. 100% and that doesn't do there we go oh that's on hover let's take that off put it right here cool that looks a little bit better too cool 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 all right honestly there's not really anyone here on the stream <laughs> so I might uh, I might end this stream a little early today uh, but I'm going to upload this um, project as well as the GitHub repo on uh, GitHub and I'll paste it in the YouTube description for the replay. So if you want to check this, act, uh, this app out, you can, uh, you can do so. 
but we'll probably go ahead in the uh, stream today. Not, not too much going on today. Oops, there we are. <laughs> But uh, mighty Iron Elf, thanks for uh, thanks for coming hanging out. If you um, if you have Discord uh, and you want to come hang out with us, we're in there every day, pretty much all day long, just talking and hanging out and talking web development. So if you want to come hang out with us, um, let me uh, let me put an invite link in the chat. I don't know if you already are in there or not, but let's see. Invite, copy link. There you go. Yep, if you want to come hang out with us, just uh, just come join the channel. Tell us hi. We're in there every day. You can just come talk to us and hang out. But um, I'm going to end the stream, so I'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. you never been on Discord before? Download Discord. It's uh, it's basically just a big old messaging app. And we, uh, myself and some of the other uh, members of the Treehouse team, as well as... Almost a thousand other developers are all hanging out in there talking about HTML, CSS, some projects we're working on. Uh, we got a fitness channel. We have food channel, pet channel, gaming channels. It's, it's a really cool place to just hang out with other developers whenever you want. Someone's always online in there. If you want to come hang out, um, just go download Discord, set up an account, and then uh, you can just join. It's a lot of fun. But I'll see you guys next week. Y'all have a good one. Peace.